Wow. Cool. Oh, hi there. I'm Miss Melissa. I'm a librarian with Wake County Public Libraries, and I'm so excited that you're joining us today. This story time is extra special because we are partnering with Blue Jay Point County Park for their songbird celebration. It's an annual celebration talking about birds and bird watching, and we're going to be doing all of that today. But first, we need to get warmed up. So if you're sitting down, let's stand on up because we have some songs to sing and we have some rhymes and books and all kinds of fun stuff that we are going to do today. So let's get started with our hello song. All right, can you rub your hands together? We gotta get ready to go. We gotta reach up high. We gotta reach down low. We gotta do a little side to side, stretch it all out. All right, we are going to clap and say hello. Here we go. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Then we wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Then we stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. Hello, everyone. Here at Wake County Public Libraries, we base all our story times on the five elements of every child ready to read. That's talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. So can you hold up five fingers? We're gonna sing a little song that helps us remember those things. They're super easy to do at home, and we're gonna do all five today here in story time. So we're gonna touch each of our fingers as we go. Are you ready? Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Making readers many ways. Good job. Do you think we can do that one more time? Let's do it again. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. That is what we do each day. Good job. All right. Well, like I said before, we are doing a story time for songbird celebration, and we're going to be talking all about birds and bird watching and all the cool things that birds do. Birds are so interesting, and it's really easy to do bird watching at home. All you need are two things. You need your eyes so that you can look for birds. You might see things like feathers on the ground, or you might see birds flying in the air, or you might see them eating something on the ground too. You, the other thing you need is your ears. You have to listen really closely to see if you can hear birds singing or chirping. Even though you only need those two things, you might want a couple other things when you go bird watching. You might want some binoculars like this. So you should ask your adult if you have some binoculars at home and see if they can help you with them. But even if you don't have your own binoculars, it's so easy to make your own at home. I made these with two toilet paper rolls that I taped together after I colored them. So look, I can see all around. Now I can't see things up close, unfortunately, but these do help me focus. Another thing you might like when you go bird watching is a pen and paper so that you can draw pictures of all the birds that you see. Birds are super interesting, but now you guys have listened so well, it's time to read our first book about birds. This book is called The Nest That Wren Built by Randy Sun and Shine. And this book is about a bird that you might see in your own backyard, a Carolina wren. So let's read and learn all about this bird and how they build nests. These are the twigs dried in the sun that Papa collected one by one to cradle the nest that Wren built. See, he's building it right up there in the tree. This is the bark, snippets of twine, spidery rootlets and needles of pine that shape the nest that Wren built. These are the leaves of ruby and gold, fallen from trees sturdy and old, that weave through the nest that Wren built. 
Now this is the sack, silky and white, brimming with spiders who feast on the mites that threaten the nest that Wren built. And this is the snakeskin, warding off harm, a scaly and thin reptilian charm draped on the nest that Wren built. This is the moss, softer than suede, stolen from stones cool in the shade to line the nest that Wren built. These are the feathers, petals, and thread placed on the moss to soften the bed that waits in the nest that Wren built. Now this is the tuft of rabbity fur. You see it right there? Plucked from a sharp persnickety burr to warm the nest that Wren built. And this is the papa perching nearby, chirping a mirthful song to the sky and guarding the nest that Wren built. These are the eggs. Do you see them there? Laid on the bed of velvety moss, feathers, and thread, safe in the nest that Wren built. Now these are the hatchlings scratching within, stretching and pecking all scrawny and thin that hatch in the nest that Wren built. Now this is the papa hunting for food, a spider or beetle to nourish the brood that waits in the nest that Wren built. These are the nestlings all drowsy and fed, all snuggly and plump on their feathery bed, warm in the nest that Wren built. And these are the fledglings, 14 days old. They inch to the edge while their feathers unfold, then fly from the nest that Wren built. The end. Good job listening, everyone. That was such a fun book, wasn't it? And this book is special too because it has some really cool facts about Carolina Wrens in the end. We don't have time to read it today, but you should check this book out and read more. All right, you guys have been doing a really good job of listening, so let's stand up real tall if you're sitting down, and we are gonna do a fun dance song. And in this one, we need to use our ears and listen because we're gonna be counting and we're gonna be doing lots of different dance moves. So we're gonna to have to listen closely. It might be a little fast, so you can always rewind it and do it again if you need to. All right, here we go. All right. What's going on? All right, we gotta listen. The number game. Yeah, my favorite! It's my favorite too! Yeah. Here we go, you ready? One, One two. two. One, two. Shake your shoe. Shake your shoe. Touch the floor. Five, six. Five, six. Do the twist. Do the twist. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Silly shake. Silly shake. Nine, ten. Nine, ten. Do the chicken. Do the chicken. That was so good, I can't All right. it. Yeah, you guys ready? it gets even better. Even better. We have more to do. Side to side. Side to side. Up and, and down. down. Up and, and down. down. Zig zag. Zig zag. Round and round. Round and round. Side to side, side to side, up and down, up and down, zig zag, zig zag, round and round, round and round. Zero one, zero one, touch the sun, touch the sun. Two, three, two, three, shake your knee, shake your knee. Four, five, four, five, hand jive, hand jive. Six, seven, six, seven, jump to heaven, jump to heaven. Eight, nine, eight, nine, Ooh. slip aside. All right. Oh yeah. This must have messed up the numbers there. Eight and nine. Oh. All right. Side to side. Side to side. Up and down. Up and down. Zig zag. Zig zag. Round and round. Round and round. Side to side. Side to side. Up and down. Up and down. Zig zag. Zig zag. Round and round. Round and round. Side to side. Whoop. Up and down. Up and down. Zig zag. Good 
job, everyone. Whew, stop and take a breath there if you're a little out of breath like me. Whew. All right, well now we have another song and for this song, I need help from my felt board and from my ukulele. So I'm going to play along to this song. Your parents might know it and you might know it too. It's called The Green Grass Grew All Around. So we're gonna be singing about a tree and grass and a bird. So listen closely and sing along if you know it, all right? There on a hill, there was a tree, the prettiest tree that you ever did see. Well, the tree and the hole and the hole and the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Now, in that tree, there was, hmm, let's see what we've got here. There was a branch in this tree, a big long branch. All right, let's sing it again. There on that tree, there was a branch, the prettiest branch that you ever did see. Well, the branch in the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the ground, in the green grass. Okay, now there was something else in this branch. What do you think it could be? Hmm, it was a nest. There was a nest on our tree. So let's sing it again. And on that branch, there was a nest. The prettiest nest that you ever did see. All right, let's go a little faster. Well, the nest in the branch in the branch in the tree All right, now in that branch, there was, or on that branch there was a nest, and in that nest there was, ooh, what does that look like? A big blue egg. So let's sing it again. And in that nest, The egg in the nest, in the nest, in the branch, in the branch, in the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the ground, in the green grass, all around, all around, in the green grass, all around. Whew. All right. Well, in that egg, there was a bird, the prettiest bird that you ever did see. Well, the bird in the egg. Man, okay, there's one more thing. And on that bird, there was a feather. Ooh, look at that feather. The prettiest feather that you ever did see. Are you ready? It's the last time. Well, the feather on that. Ooh, nope, let's try that again. Well, the Wow, what a song, good singing. Good helping me out with this song, guys. All righty, woo. Good job listening, everyone. It's time for us to read another book. And this is a really cool book called Mel Fell by Corey R. Tabor. And you might notice that this book is a little unusual because normally we hold books this way, don't we? Well, this book, we're gonna hold it like this. And this book has a very special bird on it. It's called a belted kingfisher. And this is another bird you might see here in the Raleigh area. So you gotta keep your eyes out after reading our book. Mel Fell. One day, when Mama was away, Mel decided it was time to learn to fly. She had been in the nest long enough. 
Aren't you scared? asked her sister. Pim? Well, yes, said Mel, but I won't let that stop me. She looked down. Whoop! It sure is a long drop, said her brother Pip. Well, said Mel, I've got wings. Mel was scared, and it was a long drop, but today was the day that she would fly. See you soon, she told her siblings. She jumped, and she flipped, and she spread her wings, and then she fell. Mel fell and fell. Whoop. Uh-oh. The squirrels tried to catch her. They really did. They'd grown quite fond of those squeaky little chirpers upstairs. Blast. Nuts. Woof. Aye. But it was no use. They missed her by a whisker. Zizel zizel, said the bees, which means we will save you. But they barely slowed her down. Oh, no. Even the spider lent a hand, all eight of them. I'm free, said the fly. But still, Mel fell. Do not fear, helpless little bird. I will catch you, said the slug. But she still fell and fell. Oh, no, said the ladybug. Uh-oh. <gasps> Splash! Mel dived into the water. She snapped her beak and caught a fat little fish. She kicked her legs. She wiggled her tail feathers. She spread her wings and then she flew. Wow! Mel flew and flew. As Mel flew by, the spider clapped her hands. All eight of them clap, 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 yay! The bee said, huzzah, huzzah. The squirrels raced her to the top. Mama was waiting when she got there. I flew, I flew, said Mel. I'm flying, I'm flying, said the fish. I knew you could, said Mama. I knew I could too, said Mel. Do not fear, helpless little fish. I will catch you. Do you think the slug caught him? No. Splash! The end. Uh-oh. Siblings don't look ready to go, do they? All right, good job, everyone. Good job at listening. For this next little song we're going to do together, we are going to go in a, for a walk in the woods. So get your binoculars out because we're going to look for birds as we go. But when I say stop, and this is the, sign, uh, the American Sign Language sign for stop. Stop. We have to stop and look for birds. So do you think we can do that? We're going to go for a walk. Grab your binoculars. Get ready. First, we are going to march. So we're going to go marching, 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 marching. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Then we stop then we stop. Okay, look with your binoculars. See if you see any birds. All right, we got to do the next one. Now we're going to walk. Let's go walking, 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 walking. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Then we stop. Then we stop. All right, let's look around. See what you can see. We're stopping. We are frozen. I think I see one right there. Oh, all right. On this last one, we're going to be very, very quiet because when we're looking for birds, it's best to be quiet because they might fly away if we're too loud. All right, we're going to tiptoe. Here we go. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Hop, 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 hop. Running, running, running. Running real quiet, running. Then we stop. Then we stop. All right, let's look one more time. I see one there. I see one there. Do you see any birds? I see you. All right, good job, everyone. Okay, for this next rhyme we're going to do, 
I need you to hop, hop. I need you to say stop, stop. I need you to wave hello, wave how do you do. I need you to wiggle your tail feather a little bit, wiggle, 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 and then fly away. Do you think you can do all those things? All right, let's do this rhyme together. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. I told the little bird to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? He wiggled his little tail feather and away he flew. Good job, let's do that one more time. Are you ready? I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. I told the little bird to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? He wiggled his little tail feather and away he flew. Good job, everyone. All right, we have one more felt story today. And this one is also about birds, of course. And these birds are some of our local birds to our area. So we have a Carolina chickadee. We have a blue jay. We have a northern cardinal. We have a Baltimore oriole and an American goldfinch. Can you help me count all these birds? We have one, two, three, four, five birds here. And we are gonna sing a little bit, little song about how they like to fly away. And I'm gonna use my ukulele for this song too. <laughs> Do you remember what this bird is called? It's the chickadee. The chickadee was feeling very fine. Oh, then he flew away. Goodbye, chickadee. And he had a lovely day. Now there's four little birdies on the line. All right, can you help me count these birds? One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, four. Four little birdies on the line. The blue jay was feeling very fine. Oh, then he flew away. Bye, blue jay. And he had a, had a lovely day. Now there's how many? Three little birdies on the line. All right, let's count them. One, two, three. Good job. All right, three little birdies on the line. The cardinal was feeling very Goodbye, Cardinal. And he ha had a lovely day. Now there's two little birdies on the line. All right, count these with me. One, two. All right, we're getting down to the last few. Two little birdies on the line. The Boreal was feeling very fine. Oh, then he flew away. Goodbye, Oriole. And he All right, how many do we have left? One. All right, the goldfinch is all we have left. One little birdie on the line. The goldfinch was feeling very fine. Oh, then he flew away. Goodbye, goldfinch. And he had a lovely day. Now there's no little birdies on the line. All right, bye birdies. See you later, bye birdies. All right. You guys have done such a great job of listening today and singing and learning all about birds. Now, we have talked a lot about birds today, but there is so much more that you can learn. So I want you to go to the library today or get online and look up some of these great bird books that I have here and learn all about birds and get outside and check out the birds in your backyard. But now we have one last song to do and that's our five things song. Do you remember it from the beginning? Talk, sing, read, write, play. All right, we're gonna sing it one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. That is what we do each day. Oh. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Making readers. 
Good job, everyone. I'm so glad you remember that song. Well, I am so happy that you joined me for story time today. Don't forget to check out all the amazing story times we have with Wake County Public Libraries and also check out the fun events with Songbird Celebration in Blue Jay Point County Park. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon. <laughs>